Hello, Lighthouse community. My name is Alison Shaw, and I'm the author of Ashes and Stones, A Scottish Journey in Search of Witches and Witness. This book traces my six year long journey researching the lives of women persecuted as witches during the witch hunts of the 16th and 17th centuries. It also traces my journey across Scotland, finding places in the landscape that marked their lives. I approached this history as a poet, a storyteller and a mourner. And as I researched the details of the reality of these women's lives, I found uncanny parallels with my own. As a queer, disabled, working class woman who lives as an incomer in a rural seaside village, there were parallels to the outsider nature of these women's lives and my own. And as I wrote their stories, part of what I was saying manifested as memoir. So my journey became quite intimate, um, quite revealing of my own truths. I'm also really interested in nature writing. I'm fascinated by it. Um, and there is a lot of nature writing in the book, but it's from the perspective of a disabled woman. Um, and I've often approached reading nature writing as a reader with a kind of skepticism and inquiry into the ableism implicit in that genre. And as I was writing my book, I wondered how can I render this reality, the reality as a disabled person who can't cover much ground and who is often in pain, um, and my relationship with the natural world around me, and I found as I was writing about that, there was actually a bridge between my own lived experience um, and the experience of the women I was writing about. Ashes and Stones makes a good bookshelf neighbor with many titles, but a few of them are Mona Chollet's In Defense of Witches, um, Sylvia Frederici's Caliban and the Witch, her brilliant Marxist and anti-colonial analysis of this history. Also, Hallie Rubenhold's The Five, her feminist reclamation, an utter truth bomb about the victims of Jack the Ripper. Thank you so much for listening. See you later.